this is day four and today we're going to be working inside the home on manners all of the commands that he's learned is going to be utilized in the home in the kitchen we're going to use the place command in the family room we're going to use place and sit and wait and follow so everything in terms of his learning for four days is going to come together join us Starting out with the follow exercise. Follow. I'm going to go ahead and put on the uh, 15 foot leash. Wait. He's going to work on dragging his 15 foot leash. Once we move outside the fence in area, he'll have to be used to the weight of dragging it. It's going to get tangled in the leaves and the forest and that sort of thing. So that's how we're working on this. Sending him into an overexcited state to see where I am with his sit command. It's looking really good. Right there. <laughs> Good 
Yes. Yes, and that time he handed it to me. Okay, so you can use the follow command as you move from room to room. Then place, I'm gonna put a little mat here for him to rest on while I'm cooking. Okay, so I've got a couple things that I'm going to do just to see if he's interested. Uh, food is a distraction. Also um, noises, any sort of aversion to noises and that. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands first. Uh, I've got the remote right here. I'm going to take it with me when I wash my hands. I'm also going to watch out of my peripheral vision to see if he comes off of this place. We're on day four and it just gives me an idea of where he is in his training, how solid this command is. Okay, so I've got uh, some green peppers and tomatoes. I'm going to make some uh, tuna salad. Uh, a little bit of scallions, which I've already chopped up. So let's see if the chopping noise and the food noises are of interest to him. He's done uh, really well with his program thus far. He's right on track with everything. Okay, he's not showing any interest, any counter surfing or some of the problems that are reported uh, usually all over with families. What dog doesn't like to counter serve? <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just put these onions into the bowl here, and also the green pepper and tomatoes. Just get it all going on. I've got those vegetables just left over. I needed to use them up. I don't think it's something typically, especially the green peppers that I would put in the tuna salad, but I've got them in there today. Okay, we've got uh, albacore, white tuna, and water. And I get mine at Costco because it's really, really uh, good albacore. As you can see how thick it is, there's very little water when you pour it out of the pan. It's just all fish. So we're gonna put a couple cans in. Whoops, have a little whoopsie there. Pick this up like that. Okay, and I've got some um, Hellman's mayo, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of that into here. Put in three tablespoons. We're just gonna mix it up. We're gonna make extra noises to see if there's any sort of noise issues with him. Next week he goes out, he travels, so there's gonna be a lot of noises in terms of cars and motorcycles. Uh, we go into Blue Ridge and the uh, train is in and there'll be a lot of tourist noises. Uh, just a lot will be going on. We'll probably also go to McKaysville um, to the uh, Riverwalk, the indoor shopping mall. We've got quite a few things planned next week so hopefully you'll be with us on this journey. Okay, so I don't see anything in terms of smell that's enticing him. He's not afraid of the noises. He's not counter surfing. All this tells me that his place command is real solid right now. Okay, so I'm going to give him a really big test. See my blender over there? I'm going to go over here and just open up this uh, red fruit smoothie. Uh, I just started getting these. Uh, recently and they're so good because they're frozen vegetables and fruit together and I use my kitchen scissors to open this and you just mix it with 12 ounces of water here in the blender now we all know blenders make a lot of noise some dogs will just run off of their place and that's what I'm going to see what sort of reaction he's going to have. So it's 12 ounces of water and just a pack of that. Okay, so let's get the top on and let's see what we're going to count here. Okay, so play. So that's in the 
noise that he could probably be desensitized to if you have a family that uses their blender a lot in the kitchen or a vacuum cleaner is another noisy household appliance that really uh, gets dogs uh, reactive. So let's see if we can do a little bit of desensitization. So that's a very uh, short period of time for him to acclimate to this machine. So I'm, I'm real proud of him. <laughs> okay, so we're done with that. We're just going to go ahead and, and pour this up. And then you'll graduate from the kitchen. I'm getting ready to take Finn for a walk. Finn, come. Finn, sit. Wait. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and attach his leash. And like most dogs, they sit right in front of the door. So I'm going to use his follow command to look him away from the door. Follow. Then sit. Wait. Then follow. Then sit. Wait. to heal and sit. This is day four, so he's just been doing the informal leash walking command, which is follow. Heel is a defined position. His shoulder is even with my left knee. He doesn't forge too far ahead or lag too far behind. He sort of remains in this position, which is like a box here. With the heel command, when my feet are moving, he's moving with me in the defined position. When my feet stop, he sits. Exercise again along the wall here. Okay. And 
I'm just guiding him into position to show him where I need for him to be with the leash. Again, starting off on the left foot heel. Okay. And so he's automatically sitting because we've been working on that for three days. Heel. Okay, so you can see for that particular one that he's too far behind and not within the defined position. And that's what we're going to be working on over the next couple days is the heel command.